morning, y'all. It's early Monday morning, and we're heading out to a that abandoned ski slope. Talked about so. Today's the day. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Look at that. So. Off left is uh, when I get to Farmington, stop into Rennie's, get myself a little, one of those mosquito net kind of things because it's mosquitoes and black flies and all those horrible, horrible things that make your exploration torture. So, so that's the goal today. I could go find that old ski resort, see what's left, and then other fun things so I'll see you later okay uh, I think I am at the starting point all right so so if you remember from that picture up on that kiosk up on the top of the hill right you had the central Thing where they had the rope tow that brought people up to the hill and then you had two side trails right that came down back to here so so let's go follow this the central one here and I think we're gonna find a building up at the top that was used for the uh, the driver right all right so that's it There's this. Ski slope right there and the ski slope right there. So let's go up here. All right. Let's move up the tire. Oops. Looks like, I don't know. Well, hello. Who are you? Guess I can't see, but I uh, came across this right here. Who knows? I mean, uh, last plate, last time this place was used was 48 years ago. Uh, they're using the the base camp area for a shooting range. So let's continue. Okay, about halfway up, I think. All right, so it looks like run across some of the. I'm assuming this is because they had probably it's snow making, um, but I'm assuming that this is what this is left over from the old ski slope. Well, this thing's locked because it's got these giant bolts, so can't find out what's in it, but. See, it's probably a pump to get the water up there, so. All right, let's keep a looking. Okay, I am about 80% uh, up it. So I've been following this. Again, this is something the ATV clubs Turned into a trail. It's decently uh, maintained, from what I can tell. But uh, so, uh, so what they cut for the rope tow is over there someplace. And according to the sign on that kiosk, right, they had uh, at two intervals. They had connecting. Uh, trails to the main slope so so far this has been I would call this somewhere in between medium and hard parts of I mean parts of that are but it's mostly back when I was a skier you know way back in the 1990s and 80s I would call this hard so 
that's it. I'm going to keep going. I'm almost at the top, and then we can get a lay of the land. Yeah, that's the neatest part of places like this. Just everything is covered in, in moss. <laughs> it's more of the... One of the pipes. Huh. Oh, yeah. Well, they're actually in pretty good condition. Considering, uh, let's see, 48 years, yeah, this ski resort has not been in operation in 48 years. Oh, yeah, look at that. Rebar. Huh. Go. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if uh, that's a connector that goes over to the where the rope toe used to be. Okay. Made it to the top. It's top of Bald Mountain right there. And I have located it. Oh wow, look at that thing. All right, so that's the... Uh... Oh boy. Uh, I'm trying to remember if this was a rope toe. Right, or a T-bar or a chairlift, I'm not sure. I'll have to find out, so, but, yeah, here's the base, and there we go. Oh boy. Time has not been very kind. So this is where the operator had his little booth here. Yep. Zarufi's collapsing. Yeah. <laughs> Won't be too many more winters where this thing is gonna last okay that's so So, did everyone get off right there? That's the question. Uh, yeah, if people just get off right there and then go to the slope or down there, you know. <sighs> What's that happens when you don't research things enough? All right, uh, let me get down there and check it out. Okay. All right, so that's what those pipes were. They're not from the ski resort. They're for this uh, cell phone tower. Up here in the top of Bald Mountain. Huh. Yeah, this is where you get your cell phone service, kids. If you're out here in this part of this neck of the woods, but at least that explains it. Yeah, how, how could pipe, you know, water pipes from a 40 year, yeah, let's see. Yeah, this place, uh, the ski slope's been abandoned for 48 years. So I was thinking, well, anyway, how does pipes that have been sitting here for 48 years survive? But nope, cell phone tower. Oh, and that's why that trail is as well maintained as it is, so. 
So that's neat. It's not exactly abandoned because, like I said, it's being used, right, for something like this. Huh. Okay, well, one last thing here. Yeah, it was used to hold the cables that hold the tower in place. All right, so. Okay, so, uh, interesting, I came down. Okay, the, uh, that landing area is right over there. So, so basically this is the first ski slope, uh, Oh wow, look at that. That is, that's terrifying looking. But I assume it was a little different <laughs> back in the day. Right? Yeah, so. Wow, that's pretty terrifying. Um, all right, let's go take a look and see. swampy it's swampy it's swampy okay so there's the little cabin right there and this is where people came up and it was a t-bar yeah so first they built a uh, 800 foot rope tow and then they built a t-bar to get you up to the top of the mountain here so Well, I'm not gonna climb this, but um, yeah. So I assume this was um, the let off points. Hmm. Let me check. I think this is gonna be the let off area here. It's a little steep, so but that was the fun of uh, rope toes and T bars. So. But the, that's where it goes, right? The T-bar came up this way, so. Okay, so that's the let off point right over there. And it's hard to say, but uh, that's where you skied down. So that was the, yep. Yeah. So the right side went that away. In the left side, so. Okay, haven't gone too far, and here's already the first of the concrete pads, right, for the T-bar. So, cool. All right, let's keep going down. Looks like it's getting kind of overgrown, so. Okay, good question. Uh, how the hell do you get up over this? That's the question. But uh, you can see there's a lot of scrape marks right there. So, huh, I guess this T-bar literally brought you right up this rock, huh? So, there it continues. So, let's find more. Okay, I think this is one of these connecting trails, if you didn't want to go all the way to the top. Yep. Oh boy. Okay, so the ski trail looped back this way. Boy, this place is... So overgrown, but it's so lovely though. Oh, there's another one right there. Right. More T bar foundations. All right, so let's keep going down. 
All right, here's the third one. Oh, wow, this thing is really falling apart. Well, been here 48 years, so. Okay, look at that. You can notice the, the scrapes, right? Because uh, as the T-bar is taking you up the hill here, right? Poor people were probably scraping their skis on these rocks. Exposed ledges. Of course, we're here at our next one. Okay. Whoop. Let's keep going. Okay. Again, uh, notice, look at these old scrape marks. People's skis made on these old rocks. That was just 15 years, you know. All right, let's keep going. Okay, here's another one. I guess they all came with this kind of uh, beveled corner right there. So let's continue our descent from Bald Mountain. Okay, this looks like one of those uh, connector. All right, to the side slope. So, continuing down, it's getting... Keep going. Okay, so we're near the bottom. We're obviously in the area that, let's see, I can, you can see over there, right before it starts to get steep. This was probably the main area they did first. Uh, that yellow post is right over there. So that was that side. It's the one they produced later, but here's another one of the concrete foundations for the T-bar. Okay. On the right track. All right, we're back at the bottom. All right, a little piece of stove pipe. Okay, some sort of tube. All right, but the, uh, all right, here's the one that came down the, uh, let's see, it's the right side of the mountain. Yep, so there's where the trail goes. So, yep, here we are at the bottom. Oh, right there. A little comfy thing right there. So here's the base. Piece of copper right there. Okay. Okay. Yep, so this was the base of the Rope toe and, or T-bar, yeah, this is the base of the T-bar. All right, so that's uh, Bald Mountain here in Wasik. And uh, let's see, that's where we started right there. And that's where we first went up. So, so that was the left side of the mountain. Huh, okay. But, uh, come over here, grab your T-bar, and 
Off you go into the wild blue yonder. But, uh, all right, if I don't find anything else, uh, I'll call it quits for now. So thank you for coming along and exploring abandoned Maine. See you later. That's the uh, range right there. So see you later. Be back again soon with something else interesting. Bye-bye.